St. John's East. Mr. Speaker, we are witnessing an urgent and growing need for better access to mental health services for Canadian Forces members. But the hiring of mental health professionals was stymied by internal red tape and budget cuts. Under the Conservatives, we are not meeting the needs of the military. This is unconscionable. Military suicides have shocked the country. The Leader of the Opposition has asked the Prime Minister to make this a personal priority. Will he now do so? It certainly has been a priority with this government, Mr. Speaker, and with our armed forces. Now, our thoughts and prayers go out to all those who have suffered and to the families who have suffered in these instances, Mr. Speaker. With that being said, uh, we do take the issue very seriously, and again, we are reviewing whether further enhancements are needed to ensure that the armed forces are responding to the needs of the members of the armed forces and veterans. Mr. President, it's a question of respect for our troops here. Avec la crise qui frappe les forces canadiennes, il est plus qu'urgent de prendre des mesures concrètes en matière de santé mentale. Nos demandes sont claires. Faire de l'embauche de professionnels de la santé mentale une priorité et accélérer les travaux de la cinquantaine de commissions d'enquête en cours sur les décès par suicide au sein des forces canadiennes. Il faut donner aux familles les réponses dont elles ont besoin pour faire leur deuil. Quelle est la réponse du ministre? The same as I just gave to her colleague, Mr. Speaker, we will continue to make this a pri priority because that is entirely appropriate. And what she and the members of her party could do would start supporting the efforts that we have made to support our men and women in uniform and our veterans. That would certainly be a welcome change, Mr. Speaker. I think everybody would appreciate that. Yes,